Welcome back. WA drivers are facing more pain at the Bowser, with the average price of petrol hovering around $1.60. One Perth man has found a way around the price hike. He'll never buy fuel again after converting his car from petrol to electricity. He tells Sian Doherty how anyone can do it. You've heard of organ donors. Well, this car was a shell donor. OK, well, that's not what you'd usually find in a car like this. Guybridge bought this BMW very cheaply because its engine was shot. Not a problem for him. Basically got a mechanic to take the engine out, put a motor in and some batteries. So now it's effectively an electric car. That's right. It took six months and 25 grand. He did enlist a couple of professionals, but the IT manager says he did about 80% of the work himself. Made the battery boxes up, did all the wiring, put the computer in. The results speak quietly for themselves. It's funny, driving it past people sometimes, they say, how quiet's that car? <laughs> and while the rest of Perth may be worried about rising petrol prices, Guy simply gets home and plugs in. In terms of electricity bill, um, it's brought it up maybe about $40 a month. On the flip side, how much do you think you've saved not buying petrol? Hundreds, yeah. Every cent that fuel goes up is a dollar saved when you're not buying it. That said, the Australian Electric Vehicle Association's Dr Chris Jones warns transitioning a car like this takes a big outlay. Probably within about two or three years he'll have spent as much money as if he'd bought a petrol car uh, and after that it's just nothing but savings. Guy chose to transition because new electric cars are so expensive but they're coming down in price. When the first Nissan Leaf came out in 2012 it was about $50,000 and that was about a 100 kilometre range car. Well, now $50,000 gets you a 300-kilometre range car and the Hyundai Ioniq is coming out uh, well under $50,000. So, yes, they're coming down in price and as they start making more of them, they'll get cheaper. That's just around the corner. Almost all the world's major car makers are cranking up production. I would predict that by 2025, every new car being sold in Australia is a plug-in car and probably by about 2030, about half the fleet will be electric. We're approaching the end of the road for petrol and diesel cars. France has banned new sales by 2040 and other countries are looking to follow suit. It's a foregone conclusion that we'll all be driving EVs in, in much, a much shorter time than people think. Guy sees it as an opportunity for more cars like his. If that's the case, there's going to be a lot of petrol cars lying around everywhere and I think there's going to be a massive market for it. Meanwhile, electricity providers like Synergy are working hard to get infrastructure up and running to ensure the grid can cope. Chris believes it'll be a smooth transition. They've done lots of studies into this and they've found that the impact is actually quite small. Uh, air conditioners are probably a greater concern. Guy's had no issues at all and while following in his car tread may seem like a daunting task, Guy reckons it's possible for anyone. I tell people that all the day, every day, you know should um, convert your car. In fact, sometimes I offer people as a joke, I say, I'll convert your car for 35 grand because there's a lot of resources online and, you know, you know, hundreds of people have converted their car before, so it's possible. And the 2018 Electric Vehicle Conference starts in a couple of weeks. We'll let you know of any exciting developments.